ITR Boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. I got a boxing because I, I was very bad tempered when I was little. And I was like seven. Yeah. If just even just from being in, right when I started being in school, I was just always like wanting to fight and stuff. I remember I knocked a kid outside on his head with the, with his lunch tray because he made me hella mad. <laughs> so that's why I got into boxing. And then ever since I got into boxing, I haven't <laughs> gotten in trouble since I was probably seven years old. After I got a couple ass whoopings and I started, and then I was like, fuck this, I'm trying to get my ass whooped. And then that's when I really started to like really start focusing it. So about, let's see, well, shit, probably 10, when I really started to really focus and start getting good and realize that I could do this. Well, the sky's the limit with him, you know. Right now, he's in the, still in the developing stages and, and uh, very, very good kid. And, uh, uh, you know, it, it's been some rough spots, but, you know, trainers and the fighters, they have rough spots, you know, because you know, everything don't go well all the time. And I let him know sometimes he gets hit too much and uh, and I get on him about it, but he responds, you know, so that's what really matters, that he responds. And uh, we go up from there. That's like my dad right there. Uh, I'm always going to be with Ray, you know, I love Ray to death. Me and him have a great relationship and that's a, it's a bond that will never be broken. The energy in the gym is real, it's real, uh, makes you, when every day I come in here, I want, it makes me just like, work hard every day. Uh, I love uh, being here because Ray, sometimes me and Ray still spar. You know, we'd be having our sparring days and you know, I love being here, it's the best gym. It was, it was a cool one. I had uh, probably 100 fights or just over 100 fights. Um, my, I didn't win a lot of tournaments because I didn't really compete in all the tournaments. I was getting in trouble a lot every time a tournament would come. So then I would be out, but um, I didn't start taking my amateur career seriously until about 17, and I really started to be like, I want to try to make the Olympic team, and go as planned. So I just decided to turn pro. I knew, I knew when he came in here at seven year old uh, that he had punching power as a little kid, seven year old, and I would let him hit me upside the head, you know, just for him to get the feel of it. And I said, this little boy can punch, and. And it went on from there. That I knew, I knew from a from a young from a young age that he was gonna be a pretty good fighter. I, like I like I was telling you earlier, I, there's no promises. You know, he shows a lot of promise, but the, you know, life has a way of uh, changing things along the way. You know, that was a couple of times I had to uh, suspend him out of the gym because he didn't put forth the effort. Boy, when he came back, he came back better, more willing. And now, look at him now. He's leveled and know as a pro. All we waiting for is the opportunities. And if it presents itself, I'm thinking he's gonna uh, fare very well. That's what. I um, it, it was cool. It was, a pretty, it was a pretty cool experience. Um, when I got signed with them, actually, Floyd flew me out to Miami, and I was in—I was only supposed to be in Miami for like two days, and ended up being captured out there for like a week. So, but it was pretty cool out there. I, I saw a lot, and you know, I thank him for showing me uh, a different place because I've never been to Miami. Hard work does pay off, and even though you reach that peak of success, don't. Just accept it and be like, okay, I'm done. Just keep going. Because if you keep going, you're going to end up going past that level that you wanted. And look at him now. He's making billions. So It's pride. You know, Sacramento pride. You know, I mean, I'm not well known yet here. I don't know why. But, you know, when I when everybody asks me where am, I, where am I from, I tell them I'm from Sacramento. So hopefully, you know, everybody starts knowing me, noticing me real soon. That I'm a bad motherfucker. <laughs> nah, but uh, seriously, no. Uh, that um, you know, I give the fans what they want. You know, I can fight my ass off. You know, in five years, I hope to be you know a world champion and unify the 126 pound division or even 130.